Hey, what's up? It's Luke, and you're watching Luke the Gathering, and check it out. It's a draft booster box of Dominaria Remastered. Dominaria Remastered, pretty sick set. I mean, there's just awesome stuff that you can get in this product. I'm very happy to open up a draft box. <clears throat> actually had a chance to draft this set. It was a lot of fun that night. I really, really enjoyed drafting the set, and I'm glad I get to finally open up a box. So we have this um, thing inset, and of course we have all of our packs here. So let's just get to cracking these packs and see if we can pull anything good out of this. A lot of fun things you can get um, in this set. We got a Savannah Lions right off the bat. I'm gonna skip on most of the, you know, the the commons and so forth, and we're gonna get right to the rare, which in this case, Clifftop Retreat, and then we have a Retro Frame. This is a nice one, Counter Spell, and I love the Retro Lands. They are so cool. In fact, those are lands I would definitely. I like to put specialty lands, of course, into um, commander decks and so forth, those definitely apply. We'll got Sol Kanar, the Swamp King. And we got Wild Dogs and Plains. <clears throat> okay. Of course, we're looking for all the tutors that, that come in here. Yogmoth is in here. We got a Pyre Zombie. And Lull. There's also like a Sylvan Library. What else are we looking for? Um, I'm just trying to think. Legacy Weapon? I don't know. There's all sorts of things in here. Let's see if we can pull any of them. <laughs> a Legacy Weapon. I just said Legacy Weapon. And here it is. Legacy Weapon. And sweet. A Terror. Terror looks really cool. These look so good. The lands to me look just so good. All right. And we have, we have an Arcades Sabbath. And that's the, that's the rare. Oh, he's got the regular rare. I don't think we got any so if we get one of those, I feel like we just get that, right? I think we just get that. Okay. So we got a rare in the retro artifact slot. Not artifact. Speaking of Brothers War. In the, just the retro frame slot. On the rare slot, I'm sorry. Arborea. And Chainer's Edict. So I feel like you can get... Um, you can only get one rare a pack, is that how it goes? Because if you get a retro rare, it's just gonna be in the rare slot, right? That's my feeling, I don't know. We'll see if, as we keep going here. Uh, ooh, we got a Jester's Cap. This is so cool looking. Funny story, I was actually around when Ice Age came out and I remember Jester's Cap being a big thing. Uh, Tiana? And nice, a foil crop rotation. That's a cool foil to get. Crop rotation is a card that I use in um, EDH. Okay, and then we are going to a Royal Assassin, my friend, the Royal Assassin. I always love Royal Assassin. One of my favorite cards. Maybe of all time. I mean, Royal Assassin, back in the old, old days. What a cool thing. Just tap and kill something. So cool. Uh, Forgotten Ancient. The rare. We got a Damping Sphere foil. Planes and an elephant. Okay, and this one we got a nice full art gemstone mine. And a wild growth, pretty cool. Swamp 
And this cat token is just one of my faves. It's so cool. I love how creative some of the artists get with these things. Tokens have been looking really good recently, I feel. Maze of Ith. Retro. Remote Isle. And then we got the Mountain. And another one of those cat tokens. <clears throat> see here okay we got chainer dementia master turnabout and savannah lions in foil and then of course zombie all right going through these we're going mythic last chance i remember this card <laughs> take an extra turn after this one but um you can lose the game potentially crazy uh, Peregrine Drake, Sun Class, Foil, Forest, and a Goblin. That's a good looking Goblin token, although I feel like I see that one a lot, especially in the uh, collector boxes. You, feel, you see that all the time. Juggernaut, huh? Cool. Um, Tatiova's a good one. Gemstone Mine. And the Plains. And see, another Goblin token. Uh, Pashalik Mons, Street Wraith, and the Island, the classic looking Island too. So for lands, there's two of each, Island, Plain, Swamp, Forest, Mountain, and Skull. Mythic here, Test of Endurance. What's this one do? At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have 50 or more life, you win the game. Interesting. Mindstone, Avon Fisher, and a zombie. We have Trainers Edict Uncommon, Full Art, cool. Arborea, this time the Full Art one. Spirit Link. I feel like I'm getting a lot of Arboreas. Interesting card. And this one we have Arcady Sabbath. I think I just I had this one already. A Necro Savant and a Swamp. All right, this one we have a Vexing Sphinx. Card with cumulative upkeep. Cackling Fiend, that is a nice card. That looks like a old school type of art. I love the old art that looks actually, some of the art looks really freaky. So I'm all into, I love that. Uh, we got the Jester's Cap again, this time in the regular um, artifact. I don't know, I like the gray artifact. I like the what they had before. Empty the Warrens. Ooh, Jester's Cap, double the Jester's Cap. This time in foil. Jester's Cap, not particularly worth a ton of money or that sought after, but I feel like it's an iconic card from Ice Age. Helm of Awakening, Spiritmonger, Gerard's Verdict, and then we got that. Okay. And we got Exploration. You can play extra lands on turns. Momentary Blink and the Swamp. Haven't pulled any tutors yet, right? So Mystic Tutor, Enlightened Tutor. Where are those things at? Oh, right when I said it. Worldly Tutor comes out to, to play. Very cool. Tormon's Crypt, the Ghoul, okay. Wow, that's kind of funny. I asked for a tutor and kind of like wished it into existence. Uh, Dark Depths, cool. This is a retro frame mythic. And an elemental token. Continuing on, 
we have Mystic Remora. Here's some really some good stuff here. I feel like Mystic Remora is a great EDH, almost like staple of EDH sort of a card. Uh, Overmaster. Frantic Search. Nice. Mountain and an Elemental. All right, what do we got here? Squirrel Nest, and then Rada, Air to Keld. Oh, that's an uncommon. Urza's Blueprints is what this is. Everax, Mountain, and see, look at that sap rolling. That is a nuts looking card. This is just a really gorgeous set overall. High Tide is great. Oh, Vampiric Tutor. There we go for the tutors. Beautiful. Oh, Vampiric Tutor. So so happy for that card, actually. Uh, Vampiric Tutor is so good. All right, continuing on. We have Siege Game Commander. I had a bunch of these in the collector boxes I opened. Factor Fiction is always cool. Arcady Sabbath. This is a rare one. That's good. And then we got that. So we're kind of ending. We got, like, not too much left, but... Getting some good cards for sure. Nantuko Shade. This one I don't know. Oh, that's cool. It gets plus one, plus one for all the black. Very cool. Kind of reminds me of uh, Misery Shadow, which I just uh, played with the other day. But I think Mis Misery Shadow looks a little better than that card, in fact. Sarah Angel there. Isolated Chapel for the land. The lion. All right, we got like one, two, three, four. This is number five packs to go. So you can pull anything out at the end here. Ship and Dragon, cool, in the old frame. Very fun. Ship and Dragon. I think if you ask me what would I rather have, Black Lotus or Ship and Dragon, like in 94 or 5 or whatever, maybe I would have said Ship and Dragon, uh, which is pretty sad if that actually happened. Uh, let's see. Where is the rare? Oh, here we go. Absorb. Absorb was the rare. We got a foil in that one. Okay, just three packs to go. No force of will or anything in any of the boxes I've opened, which I'm sad about. Light and Tutor, though. That is a great little pull at the end. Fade Seer. Two more packs to go. Uh, what do we got? We got Zira, Arian, not super excited, Duress, kind of a fun one. Sheep Token, and here's the last pack. Last pack, Magic, let's see. Yep, just the Clifftop Retreat, Juggernaut. And that's it! What a fun opening. I love Dominaria Remastered. Such a cool set. Thanks for watching this, and I'll see you next time.